before we get too far along, I kind of want to treat the outside a little bit. Still holds water. That's pretty good. All right, let's just take a look at this hood and see what happens here. The hood turned out well, so I just did the rest of it. And I'll probably go over it one more time because there's still some like residue, but it's definitely looking a lot better than it was. I can't stand these rotten floors. I've got to rip this stuff out. That's a little better, but obviously these floors need to come out. They're they're pretty rotten, quite a few holes. Since this floor is so rotten, I decided to cut it out and make room for this guy. And uh, undoubtedly, this is going to be a lot more structural. Here we go. Let's put the inexpensive plasma cutter to the uh, test here. Everyone loves a good floor pan delete, right? Here we go, battery frame is roughed in, getting the sizing, time to weld the end plates on. is roughly where it's going to sit. Time to weld. A little cardboard aided design. Gussets are welded on. Made up a bunch of these little nut backing plates and got the nut plates welded in this is one of the benefits of not having a floor
this still feels so weird walking underneath with no floor I'm basically gonna weld at any point that I can it's gonna require you know quite a bit of cleanup and then I'm gonna shore it up from the torsion tube but I think it'll work Got the battery box welded in, not painted, but I'm going to test fit the battery, make sure everything's looking right. Here we go, getting awfully close. Going to jack it up and fasten it to the frame, make sure everything's looking good. There we go, we have a little test fit. Sat in it for the first time with the battery pack in. Obviously no seat brackets yet, but uh, I am going to have to alter the front bulkhead, which I knew I was going to have to. Um, but just need to bend that down this way. So notch, bend down, and then do some reinforcements to the tunnel. That way it gives uh, enough area for the, the foot box so that I can set up the pedal assembly back there. But I don't want to do that right now. I'm going to see about mounting this motor. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch up with you on the next video where I'll be mounting the motor.